Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas, and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add testimonials, I mean customers' testimonials or partners' testimonials on your Shopify homepage. And you can add it actually to any page, not just the homepage. And even if you do not have any testimonials from real people, you need actually to create them and just use uh, fake names and so on to make your Shopify store look more social proof and your business as general looks legit and trustworthy because testimonials can actually help with your conversion rate. And just like I always say, you need to have everything perfect or like the Spanish say in order to have the maximum potential of your conversion rate and testimonials is one of them. So it's a must actually to have it on your Shopify store. It's really small and it will take a really small section on your Shopify store. So why not add in them? That's my point in here. By the way, for example, this Shopify store right here is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And all the things you see on this Shopify store in here, I did make them in demonstration, in videos, in tutorials. And I mean everything. For example, even the small detail, for example, the underline on the menu right here, if you hover with the mouse over the menu, it will show an underline on the menu. A subscriber did ask me how to remove those underlines and I did make a video for him. And there is no video on YouTube on how to remove the underlines from the header. And I did make that video for him. So if you have any video requests or you can see something from here and you do like it and you want to implement in your Shopify store, including the banner video in here, just check out my channel. I may already have made a video on it. Or if you don't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make a video. So let's just scroll down and show you the section that you can add the testimonials on. For example, right here, this multi-column. Multi For example, right here, this multi-column section. So this is a multi-column section and it have for example the header or the title and a text in here obviously you can make actually a testimonials with these right here however they look really bad and this is not the regular version for this because i did change the background as you can see the background is set to a picture and yes i did show a video on how to set a picture only for a section and any section on your shopify store you can change the background for it to a picture and not just that to a color you can change the background for any section to a different color than your team and I mean any color as well as the gradient color <laughs> as you can see so I did show a lot of things on my channel that you will not find anywhere else but let's just get back to the subject of this video which is adding the testimonials on your Shopify homepage and obviously this does not look great so in order to make a really good looking uh, testimonials on Shopify store the first thing you're going to do or I need to do actually is close this, then we need to install an app as I said. And just like I always do, I always try different apps and test them out and inspect them which one works really lightweight and does not affect the loading time of the Shopify store. And the best one I found is in the description box below. So just scroll down the description box and you will see a link for the app. Simply click on it and it will take you to this app right here which is which is customer testimonials showcase and this is the best app when it comes to testimonials and it's completely free paid version have up to 100 testimonials which is a lot i don't know why you want to add 100 testimonials in shopify store but five is perfect right so after you did access the link simply click on add app right here then give it a couple of seconds and it will take you to shopify dashboard then click on install app and as i said i will show you how to use it and how to customize it and how to add the widget for the testimonials on the shopify homepage or any page so obviously it will take you to the plans and so on and as i said uh, it's completely free to use up to five testimonials which is really enough the only downside to not using the paid plan is the follow reviews right here and it doesn't have that option on the free plan however it's not really required because testimonials not always have the pictures on them so the next thing you're going to do is click on dashboard then it will show you the total testimonials in here submitted by admin and by clients because it will have the option you can disable that option obviously and or enable it uh, for customers to, to submit a testimonial on your Shopify store. So let's just click on add testimonial to create the first one. And obviously the first one is the customer's name. So I'm going to type in a name in here. Let's just type it on how just for demonstration. And the ratings will be five stars by default. You can select it to three stars or two stars. However, I'm going to keep it five stars and make sure you do so as well. And the date of the testimonial submission. So let's just go for a date. 
and obviously you can change this option if you do not want to show the date for the testimonial submission on the testimonials widget you can disable that as well but for now i'm going to pick a date in here and the testimonials designation which is what this person does for a living or something like that if he's famous for example i am famous <laughs> no, i'm just joking i'm gonna type in here a youtuber in your case if you do sell uh, shoes then uh, type in here shoes collector so that makes sense right and the customer photograph which is the picture for the profile and simply click on choose file and it will show you a picture i do have a picture for a person in here i did download it from this uh, free no copyright pictures and so on i think the website is pixels.com i'm not sure so give me a moment to find the picture first here is the picture so this is the picture i did pick so let's just click on open and i did set it here it says recommended size is 180 uh, 180 uh, it's not really required it just recommended even if the picture is much bigger for example mine it's much much bigger and it will look fine and you will see that in a moment and the testimonials review in here so what the customers or what the person that submitted the testimonial says about the product or your shopify or whatever the case is and in my case i'm gonna type in something here just for demonstration this is awesome and make sure you do hit the like button and please <laughs> so this is awesome make sure you do hit that like button please and uh, the url for the product so the url product obviously it says optional uh, because it's not required to show the product url the product where the customer submitted the review on in my case i'm going to keep it as blank if you're okay in your case if you want to set a product simply access shopify store copy link and paste it in here and the product photo right here and it says optional i think this option is only available for paid plan i'm not sure though uh, in my case i'm gonna not I'm gonna select any file and after that simply click on save and right now we have one testimonial and i think we need more right so give me a moment to create more testimonials then we will show you how to change the designs and so on then how to install it on the shopify homepage or any page and actually uh, for for me it will be a couple of moments and for you it will be one second and you see that was pretty quick right so we have right now five testimonials with the text and so on so the next thing you're going to do is enable the show or hide option in here because those are hidden by default so make sure you enable each one of these so let's just enable them so after we did enable them let's just get to the settings and change the design and options and so on so click on settings right here on the left menu and it will show you the first option which is select a template and there is actually uh, five or six template as you can see but the last one is a uh, premium you need to pay for it and so in order to see how the template looks like obviously click on see examples right here simply click on it and it will take you to a new tab and it will show you all the templates with the pictures for them and the first one this is how it looks like and the second and the third and so on and by default i think it's set at, as the third yeah it's set it so just check out these templates and see which one suits your Shopify store or which one you think it looks better. In my case, I'm going to go for the first template in here. So I'm going to select the first one. Then on the right in here, you can choose the display style. If it's a grid or a slider. Uh, just like in here, this is a grid as you can see. You can select a slider if you want. In my case, I'm going to keep it as a grid. I think it looks better like this. And the next option in here, which is the read more. The read more, uh, if there is... a uh, a really long testimonials and you cannot show it obviously all on the widget because it's gonna take a lot of space and you're gonna look ugly if it's pretty long so you can enable this option and you can set the limit of characters for each te testimonial and for my case i think it's just a line for each, uh, each testimonial so i'm going to disable this option and the testimonial title which is the title that will be on top of the widget so in here reviews obviously i think it looks better so I'm going to keep as reviews and the font which is normal or italic or bold. In my case, I'm going to keep it as normal and the font size as well. And the columns on the home page, which is two, just like we see on demonstration here, two columns and each one has two. So the total are five testimonials. And this is the colors and so on. This is actually based on the team that you're using or the design of your Shopify store. And those options right here show quotes, show star ratings. Uh, I don't know why you would want to disable this. I don't recommend you to do that. So make sure you do keep them and the auto uh, publish testimonials because customers can actually click on the submit testimonial and they can submit it. If you want the testimonials to be automatically uh, published on your widget, make sure to enable this option. And below it in here, what the customers will see once they click on the submit testimonial. 
the first one which is the name the customer's name you can disable that uh, you can change this for example client name and you can do the same for the others right here and you can enable the captcha and make sure you do so uh, this is will disable or will block both from adding backlinks to the shopify store if you get a lot of spam uh, just enable the captcha in here in my case i'm not going to do that because uh, this is just for demonstration and the rest in here as i said is actually a personal preference or how you want it to look like on your store and this is depends on each design of each shopify store so i'm going to skip all of this this is really obvious and the last option which is custom css if you have a custom code you want to add it to the widget uh, whatever it's a background color or any effect or something like that you can add it in here and the last option obviously click on save button right here so the last thing we're going to do is adding the widget to the Shopify homepage. So the next thing you're going to do is head over to the dashboard right here. Then we're going to click on online store. Then we're going to click on customize button right here. So simply click on it and it will take you to the team customizer. Then scroll down right here on the left and click on add section right here. And on the bottom of the page, you will see the section based on apps. And the first one should be the app that we will use, which is testimonials in here. Simply click on it then it will be added in here and it will show you an option in here in order to paste in the code in order to paste in the code get back to the testimonial admin panel and click on embed option right here simply click on it then copy this code right here simply copy it let's just click here and copy right click copy and get back in here and simply paste it in here and after a couple of seconds it will be shown right here let's just give it a couple of seconds come on come on faster faster and here it is as you can see it did actually take a couple of seconds <laughs> it did actually so this is how it looks like as you can see and in your case if it has more text it will look better in my case i'm really hungry uh, i did say that in the fifth testimonials here it is the last testimonials i'm really hungry i need to get some food so hit that like button man so this is how it looks like and if you want to add it to a different page than the home page simply get back in here and copy instead this part right here this is for other pages other than the home page and this is for only the home page and this is how it looks like as you can see and obviously uh, the clients or the customers can click on submit testimonial and they can submit a testimonial by themselves then you will need to get back to the admin panel right here and approve the testimonial then it will be shown in here this is if you didn't enable the auto publish option so that's how you add testimonials to your shopify homepage or product page and as i said at the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise, I take my job, but it's done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.